All right, let's just hit play. I'll just roll with it. What is going on, people? We are back again for a brand new video. And this video today, um, it's literally going to be a little quick. Sit, not, well, I'm standing up, not sit down, but talk to you guys sort of video because it's not been a video in a while. So I wanted to get this out to you guys just to kind of, I guess, figure out what's been going on, be honest, all the good stuff. Basically, just give you guys an understanding or an idea of what my plans are going future, what the plans with this channel are, be on like just kind of speak, just kind of speak to you about a few things. It's not, it's not been, I don't think I ever have, well it's been a while anyway at least where I've just kind of just spoke to you guys and spoke my mind, spoke what my feelings are on a couple of things. But I guess if we wanted to categorize this video it would kind of be like what's life been like after the competition to what do I plan to do now since the competition is over and three just kind of like my future in like doing all of this in general those are kind of the three main things that i just want to quickly touch up on and maybe give you guys a little insight into as well so life after the competition has pretty much been i guess hectic but normal and so like obviously came back home straight into longitude no rest after longitude straight back into work and so like i literally went from off the planes when i landed here in ireland at eight o'clock in the morning I was in work that same day so on Tuesday when I arrived I literally got off the plane and went into work so there's just been no rest and then it was two days of work and then it was straight into longitude and then from longitude straight back into work so it was just yeah if not I didn't have like time to just after competition go <sighs> so I like I didn't I just didn't have that so um I first week back I was kind of like at the time I was real motivated my appetite was crazy through the roof and I was like yo I want to get bigger I want to get stronger I want to just get straight into it I was just really motivated to be better than I was last year but then you have to remember it is a whole year away pretty much 11 months away before I'm going to be like stepping on that stage again so what I decided to do last week was actually not train whatsoever eat when I was hungry not train. Yes, I had to go to work, but when I like after work, it's just like, okay. Get to, I get to go home today and relax. And I did that for seven days, and I do feel a lot better for it. Like I genuinely do feel a lot better for it. Surely, yes, I'm not looking exactly how I was, obviously on the competition day. However, mentally, physically, just feel so much better after taking that. Just basically, just finally being able to have that weight lifted off my shoulders, relaxation moment. So now that I've done that, training wise, nutrition wise, what the plan is going forward is that I am going to be going into a lean bulk, but first I'm just going to do a two week mini cut. It's not really like a, how I describe it is I'm intuitively eating, I'm not tracking my calories. I know all the meals that work for me, so just small meal in the morning, small meal in the afternoon, and a small meal in the evening, and it's just cardio. I just do that for two weeks and I know that I'll tighten up a good bit just from the meals and just from coming straight off of prep I just know that it's gonna work like it's gonna work so I'm gonna do that for probably one to two weeks tighten up a little bit and the reason why I'm doing that is because I don't want to put on I put on obviously unnecessary fat without actually training and trying to put on muscle as well when you're gaining you're gonna be putting on fat regardless but at the same time I'm gonna be training six days a week getting stronger and progressively so I'm using those calories I'm putting on a bit of fat while I'm growing essentially. I don't want to be putting on fat when I'm clearly not growing or doing anything in the gym. So that's why I just want to tone back that fat a little bit and then we're going to go full steam ahead training wise. So those videos are coming very, very soon. I'm going to bring back a lot of like informative videos for you guys. So I'm going to do how to fix your bench, squat, deadlift, um, my full routine, my diet going forward and everything like that. All of those videos are to come. I'm going to keep it quite fitnessy for a little while. And um, so hopefully you guys enjoy, but I'm pretty sure it is kind of the things that you want to see. Training is going to be way more bodybuilding-esque oriented. So yeah, I'm looking forward to just trying to grow. So the second topic around the whole kind of prep idea um, I do I did do a podcast with someone so I'm hopefully going to get that video up to where I talk about everything a little bit more so I'm going to leave all of my honest opinions on bodybuilding prep and all that stuff in that video but for the most part um, after effects of this prep has been pretty much none I've not binged I don't feel like I have an eating disorder I don't look at myself and think oh my god I'm so fat yes I, I look at myself and I think I'm fatter I have more body fat on my body than I did during a competition, 
but to me that's normal like I'm never going to look like that all of the time and to try and look like that all the time you're just gonna be yeah you're setting yourself up for a disaster so I think mentally and physically I'm literally perfect no bad after effects um yeah pretty good finally is just this whole YouTube thing where I'm gonna go how consistent I'm gonna be what what are my plans going forward what do I want to do guys I'm gonna be fully honest with you I will probably never stop making YouTube videos I actually when I make the videos that I want to make I absolutely adore doing it like I loved being over in America even though I had to like edit my my show day video for I literally was editing that thing for about 23 hours 23 hours was put into editing that video just to try fix the fuck up that was done with the video videographer and stuff like that but I actually enjoyed it I loved the creating something that I could look back and be proud of and so in terms of will I ever quit YouTube, absolutely not. Um, is the growth where I would like it to be? Of course not, but it is a snowball effect. The smaller you are, the harder it is to grow. And the bigger and bigger and bigger you get, it kind of seems as if it's just like a, you flip a switch and out of nowhere you're like growing. Um, so you just got to get that momentum. So for me, it is just a push. We just got to get to that 10K mark. That from 10K, we're going to just push to 20. And I'm guarantee you, 10 to 20K will take half the time that it took from zero to 10. And that's just how YouTube works. So for me, the main thing is going to be consistency, getting videos out to you guys all of the time. You guys want that. So what I need from you guys in return is give me some feedback. Genuinely comment on the videos. If you liked it, leave a like. If you're watching this video and you don't have a YouTube account and you aren't subscribed or whatever, it literally will take 30 seconds. Make yourself a YouTube account and subscribe to the channel. Show your support. If you really do support what I want to do, you want to see things progress, then I'd really appreciate it if you do that. Um, there's no other way of going about it. I don't feel bad asking for it because you guys are asking for the videos. And for me to be able to keep bringing out the videos that you guys want to see, there needs to be some sort of progression. You know what I'm saying? So I don't think that's too much to ask. So if you do want to see me do well, if you want to see this channel, this because the channel is us. It's not just me. It's not just you guys. It's us together. Um, so just, just do that. Make yourself an account and, sub and subscribe to the channel. It would be greatly appreciated. Um, and yeah. However, in terms of how much videos I can put out, that is going to be a challenge. It's something that I've always battled with in terms of my YouTube career is getting content out there. But I've come to the realization that I'm just going to have to put videos out there and just keep putting them out there. I become very perfectionist, I have to have things perfect and I get in my head and I'll make videos and they never go out. I just recently attempted a 15,000 calorie challenge, did you guys see it? No. Because I, well I got like whatever, 13k, but it, because I didn't get the 15k I was like no, can't do it, can't do it, can't do it, and I end up just, uh, yeah, I leave it too long and I just never upload it. So that happens all the time, it's never a case of where I'm not making videos or not putting effort in or not trying, I don't want you to ever think that I'm just lazy. I do try, I do make videos, but when you come from being in America to just being home and you're working a full-time job, you're like, my life is so boring right now. What the fuck am I going to film? So that's just my main challenge. I need to get my creative hat on, come up with a plan, and I have two days off each week. So I have no excuse. I'm not making no excuses for myself. I have two days off each week. I can make three videos over two days. And that's going to be my three videos per week. And that's what I'm thinking. So Monday, Wednesday, Friday, that's what I want to have as my upload schedule. With the job that I'm in, and um, with the working full time, I would love to be able to quit that and just do YouTube. I would love to be able to do that. But unfortunately, guys, that's, you can't just do that. I have bills to pay. I have people to look after. It's just, it just is what it is. So, um... For now, that's just going to be, that I'm just going to have to do do the best that I can with the situation that I'm in. And that's all that I can do. So hopefully it comes across well on the camera. Share the videos, guys, if you like, if you enjoy them. Share them with people. Talk about it. All that good jazz. Um, so that is basically what I'm thinking the plan is going forward because that's all I can do. I need to make money. And yeah, I need to make money to make more money, if that makes sense. Hopefully I'll be able to get a website up soon, I need to get a new camera, I need to get a new laptop, my laptop's dying, so there's just all these things that I need to have to be able to push what I want to do, my own business forward, I have to have a job, guys, you got to have a job, so, um, and it just is what it is, we're going to get there, we're still young, to a lot of you guys might think I'm old, I'm 24, but I'm still young, 
if I can be out of my job and doing all my own shit for myself by the time I'm 26, that's like two whole years to just go at this. Even though I've been already been going at it, in my head it's just like, just go, just keep pushing, just keep going. Um, and that, yeah, so that's kind of what I'm feeling. That's just me rambling to you guys for the last few minutes. I know I said it was going to be short, but this has definitely been longer than I thought it was going to be, so I'm going to wrap this up here. So like I said, guys, if you are new here, if you've been watching me for a while, if you don't have made an account, just make an account. Just do it. If you want to see me do well, share the video. Share the channel with the people that you know, and we're going to get there. We're going to get to that 10K. I want to push for the 10K by the end of the year. We have time. If we don't get there, we don't get there, but I think we can. But we're going to shoot for it anyway. We're going to aim for it anyway. You know what I'm saying? So that's all we can do. So yeah, leave the video a like. Um, it was great to actually just speak to you guys for a little bit. Nothing crazy, nothing OTT, nothing serious. I'm not Mocha fam. Stay saucy. Hold tight.